What's up guys, it's Gabriella, and this is a new series that I would like to call Karate School. And I'm here with my teacher for the day, Tecla. And we're gonna learn how to use these guys. Yeah! Alright you guys, uh, so we're gonna learn nunchucks today. That's fun. A few basics oh. for anyone watching. Um, I know you already know these, but let's cover that yeah. for them. So, first off, don't hold it here. That's dumb. A lot of people try to. That's dangerous in how you get hit. You don't have as much control. So you want to hold it near the top of the stick by the chain, because then you can control both the back end and the front one and get more. The second thing, I guess if you're first learning, just try with one. Um, L strikes would be first, so you can go up on your shoulder. They're more like triangles. Um, go across, hip, up. So it's hip, hip, shoulder, hip, hip, shoulder, hip, hip, shoulder. Notice that our hands are in front of our face just in case something happens. Um, and then you just do that. And then you can try to do it with your other hand, hip, hip, shoulder. Um, when you're more advanced, we'll actually show you. When you do it, when you do it with both, um, they kind of chase each other. So you go hip, like they, mm. they follow. Um, so basically what happens is hip, hip, and then you switch, hip, switch, hip, right. switch, and then you kind of just like right. make it flow a little better. Um, and I have not been able to use two nunchucks yet, so that's why. Moment of truth, let's do it. <laughs> let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. Both are up, and you go hip, 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 and then switch. Yeah. Got hip. it. Switch, oh. hip, switch, hip, switch, hip, switch, and then as you go faster, they kind of just flow after each other. Yeah. And you can add it over the head. You can go. I don't know about all that. <laughs> and then, cool. Awesome. Really good. So, she's freaking a badass. Um, okay, another basic one is the figure eight. Um, and how I teach this is just start making giant X's with your arm. And then bring it down to your elbow. And then your wrist. Um, whenever you do spins like that, you want to pinch with your thumb and your forefinger bit of your hand. Um, that's the part that really actually controls the nunchuck. You're not gonna hold it really tight because that makes her like, really. it's just not as smooth. Um, you wanna do a lot of wrist work with mm. nunchucks. Everything that happens kinda happens in the wrist. Um, everything else should be able to just stay with this. So if you wanna do like stuff out here, stuff wherever, um, the wrist is what really does a lot of the movement. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so don't grip it too hard, grip it up here, and keep your hands up so you don't hit yourself in the face, and or knee, and or elbow, and or shoulder, and your back. <laughs> the worst. Back to the head. One more thing, um, on the note of hitting yourself, uh, strikes and things, we want to touch our body with our hand, not the nunchuck. Um, that kind of helps it roll around. It rolls around your body and not hit you, so you're not trying to hit yourself with it. You're trying to touch your hand. Um, that yeah, because if it's smacking you. Down. Yeah, that's no. not right. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. Then you have bruises sure. and then you're mad at your hand. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So that's kind of the basics. Yeah. Let's, um... So now I think Tecla's going to show me a few tricks because, Let's try like that. I said, I barely just got a this year. So let's, let's see me try a few of these things for size. Okay, so, let's do it. with nunchucks, it's kind of like either hand can be doing its own thing. It's a little bit of a brain challenge. Yeah, so, right. let's try this. Spin one forward, spin the other one back. Ooh! Maybe switch. Let us switch. <laughs> ah! And switch. Yeah! Yes! No, no, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh no! And then again, the harder you hold it, the easier it is to see. Here. For for your hand rolls and stuff, you want to hold lower just because then it goes gotcha. around. But if you're just spinning them, um, hold like here. So whenever I'm doing my forms and stuff, I kind of like as you I'm moving, move they they that like you can kind of manipulate them a little bit. Um, and find like to position. yeah, or if you so, like do a strike. You yeah. So whenever you guys bit. see her doing that fancy stuff, and this is I I just learned that, so I think that's really cool. Just the pointer if y'all didn't catch that. As she's doing her technique, so like you guys saw just a second ago, literally she's working her hand up and down the chuck um, to find the right position, which I think is 
Challenge number two. Challenge number two. Killed that one. So this one's super funny. So you're gonna do you're gonna do this with both of them. Okay. And then you're gonna throw one out and do a figure eight. I already popped myself this, in the head. This took me forever to learn. So maybe <laughs> right. let's start Let with the, start with the figure eight. Okay. Start with the figure eight. This one just goes like this. Yes! Oh, that's <laughs> hard. Okay, let's try it again. It's because your here hands both want to do the same thing. Oh my gosh. So if you guys want to try this with me, go for it. Okay, figure eight. You can just get two sets of keys too. Oh man, one. this is tough. Yeah, this one's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> it's a really hard one. Yes! Yes! Ah, awesome! So, <laughs> when you get that, if, if you all at home are like, being way better at this than her. <laughs> That's not possible. <laughs> it's really not. It's a really hard one. Um, but once you get that, you want to start switching. So you're going to go one, and then you can switch them two. One, two, one, two. I'm kind of getting it. Yeah, nice. Good. So then the challenge is to go from here to switch. Man. To switch, to switch, to switch. Then you just do this, you practice that. Yeah. And then as this one's coming up, like forward, that's when you would switch. Mm. So you switch when you're up. You can also do it switching when you're down, but then you have to switch your, your figure eight needs to go backwards, I think. What mm. is it? Yeah. Wow. That's just weird, though. Um, but yeah, that one. better forward. I, I like it better for it. It's yeah. just easier. Um, cool. So hand rolls. Yeah, you, you can do hand rolls, rolls but we can do a couple. We can we can do this one. Um, so this is the one where you might want to hold it a little lower, just because if you hold it here, um, what happens if you don't have enough chain mm -hmm. is that. Okay. Ah, so that's a lot. A lot of people get like frustrated. They're like, I can't do it, and then um, that's the reason. So that's what happens oh, if you're holding it too close, because it just doesn't they have enough clamp. Room. It just doesn't have enough room to, right, to right. roll, and then you can't really grab it. Mm. Um, if you hold it too low, you just end up grabbing the chain a bit. Right. Um, so you want to kind of find out Get where it goes. Spot. You want it to be able to roll around and like basically touch your, like the the top of it should touch the si other side of your hand, so you can just grab it. Um, mm. So when you do it, start with swinging it. You want to find that momentum. Nunchucks are all about momentum. Right. Whenever you do anything, you're trying to control it so that it looks like one stick by finding where its momentum goes. Um, I find that's a really important thing, like just kind of feeling it out like really slowly. That's why I have the figure eight go like this first. Right. So you can really feel where everything goes. See how it's one stick? You want to kind of keep that going as it's little, um, as, as like you small in your circles. What happens is people start getting excited and going too fast, and then they can't feel it. So mm. slow everything down, it's like fight choreography. Mm. You want to start slow and then build up. Um, so same thing like with this, that. figure out where your momentum is. You want to go here. When it's coming up, that's when you do it. Exactly. Um, it can, you can do it slowly, let it roll over your hand. You'll feel when it, uh, so see, that was yeah. too short. Too short, so put, hold it a little further and then try it again. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Nice, and then to bring it back, around um you do that let it kind of catch on your hand yeah and then just bring it back yeah oh exactly. i've never so you're had just back in your ah, yeah, nice. yes. so here Ooh. and then so let it let it come all the way all here. the way over that wrist because then it bounces off of it and then you just go again mm. what? Try that again. so one, one and let it bounce all the way to your wrist so here you want it here with the gotcha. momentum, and then from here, all you do is like just kind of twist your wrist, and it goes again. Turn your wrist, yeah, and then it goes back that way. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try this. So one. Oh, other way. Let it, let it go. All the way. So boom. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. Exactly. Gotcha. So do it again, and just okay. let it keep going. So one. Yes. Let it keep going. Let it keep going. Here. Yes. Exactly. Boom. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So kind of just just throw it a little harder, so it ends up. And got, going it, got it. Got it. Got it. So. Boom, let it keep going. Yeah, got it. I'm so used to stopping. Yeah, it's okay. So. Boom, so. yes, good. Nice, awesome. Oh, and then you do it with the other yeah. hand, blah, blah, blah. We're um, another really good skill I find is, um, like, because you can do this one, right? Ah, no, I can't. This one, um, <laughs> that was dope. The, the cool thing, yeah, the thing I like to do is be able to, from a spinning, from a flat spinning yeah. one, be able to do a wrist roll from anywhere. 
Um, and it's all about, that's a hard one to do. Let's do the other one. So you come here, you touch your hip. You always touch your hip, you don't hit yourself with another touch. Um, and then you spin it that way. When it's here, when it's momentum is going in the direction of where your wrist roll is, right. you dip your hand. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it. Um, Let's try that again. So you feel the momentum, you dip your hand. Um, yep, boom, hip, spinning, dip. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So finding that timing, Ooh, again, is super... <laughs> this is so fun! <laughs> That's awesome. But finding that timing is super important. Um, and then there's other cool things you can do from there, like you can just do it above your head, and then like you can do these, and like weird things that just yeah. kind of come with that. Um, can you show me a spin above my head? I've been above your head. Really been wanting to learn one, but okay, just probably not gonna get it. But I would like to like that. Yeah, that'd be dope. Just okay, anything, really. Okay, so here's a cool thing. Um, let's do it forward first. Okay. So you're gonna go palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down, palm up, palm down. Yep. Oh, okay. Up, down, up, down. Yeah, and keep moving your hand. So see how you're bringing it up and straight right. down. Bring it across. So you're gonna go up, down. <laughs> so up, down. Yeah. While you're while you're turning it, just keep it going. Like your hand shouldn't stop moving. Uh, so up, boom. Yeah. Better. Um, exactly. Yeah. Now, when you go over your head, it's the same thing. So you're gonna go and the end of the tug goes behind your head. Almost. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, but all you're doing is you're bringing it up, and then as it's halfway, you turn your hand, and it goes down. So you bring it up, and down. So from here, up, down. So actually, hmm, let's do this, um, okay. let's do this first. So you know figure eight? Right. To your side. If you ever done sword or anything, um, dip I, your shoulder and do this way. Yes, I can do that, but I haven't been able to do it on the chucks. Okay. Yes, exactly. Almost. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now keep it just to the side. So you just go back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. Does that make sense? Oh, you do back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. The nunchuck is confusing because it like spins. Yes. It looks like it's spinning right. a lot more than it actually is. All you're doing is going shoulder, shoulder. Same thing we do with sword. Exactly. Same thing. So try do. that. Okay. Back, forward, back, forward. Ah. Yeah, don't bring it up that far. Back, forward, back, forward. Exactly. Now, Almost. it's the same movement above your head. If you just move this, take your shoulder joint and just move it. <laughs> it's the like same exact movement. movement. It is. See, it's the same exact <laughs> movement. <laughs> so all you do from here, when you're um, back, bring it up. Oh, wow. So you're coming across this way. Yeah, big circle. Let's see if I can get this. Boom, boom. Don't bend your arm. Got you it. Bend got your it. arm, you're gonna hit your head. Got it, got Here, it. Here, keep it as far as you can. Boom, forward, back, forward. Oh, Too many spins. Ah. Don't try to spin it. Just let the momentum go. Good. And then straight arm all the way down. And now. Yes! Better! See how you're kind of bringing it yeah, back yeah. already? Just bring it straight down. Like yes. from here down. Okay, okay. Let's try that again. And straight on big circle. Yeah! Not bad. Not bad. Literally, just just hold it down. Momentum, but like straight circle. Big circle. See how, you, see how your arm's not straight? Just right. Straight. Exactly. Super straight. Just try okay. that. Just, just do that. that. Make a big circle with your arm. Yes. Now, on the way down, yes. turn it so it's facing down. Turn it so it's facing down. So you're gonna turn it. And down. Yeah, yeah exactly. Going this way. Yes. Okay. So boom down. Yeah. Keep your arm straight. Keep your arm straight. Keep your arm straight. Got it. <laughs> yeah. Good. Um. So if you see, I'm kind of turning it up to come up. Oh. Okay. Now a I little got bit. It. Okay. Okay. So up, down. So palm up. up, palm down. Ah. Okay. At the top of your head, turn it down. Down. Yes. A little okay. sooner. Up, down. Again. Up, down. Yes. That it. That was it. That was Yay! it. That was it. Again. Okay. <laughs> now do it like 20 times. <laughs> but that was exactly. it. Do you see the timing? Yes. Up, down. Yes. Right at 90 or whatever the heck right. this one is. Turn, Straight above that turn. head. Yeah. Got it. Sweet. Cool. Then, yeah, some tricks here. then, then, you can do hand roll handle. Oh, man. Once we get more handles. Yes. 
Um, once you're better at hand rolls, once you're proficient, then you can just do hand roll, hand roll. Um, so are all the hand rolls or the same so thing, cool. just in different positions? They can be, yeah. So basically, anything you could do, because you could do hand rolls, mm -hmm. right? You can right. do thumb rolls, mm -hmm. uh, and you can do finger rolls, which are my favorite. Those are fun. Um, Those look fun. They're like one and a half spins. Kind of back and forth. Um, you could do them all in different different ways. There's flat across, right? There's up and down. And then there's And those are just way. So it's your it's your part. most of those when you're coming across this way, up and down behind your head are really just coming across the palm. Yeah. Correct. So palm 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 spins, hand rolls, um, that's those ones. Thumb rolls go around your thumb. Uh -huh. And finger rolls go around your forefinger. Um, those are just different parts of your hand that you Details that comes with them, but all of them are able to go on the different axes. You have the X, the Y, and the Z axis, basically, right? So I'm, if I remember this correctly, it's X, right? X axis is flat, and then um, X axis is flat, and then you have what your Y axis is up and down, and then your Z axis is depth. So I guess we'll just do it. This way. Um, so you go flat, you go this way, you go this way, and those work for everything. You can also do them whenever you're in a figure eight spin. So you can do them this way. One, two, spin. One, two. You can do them in your regular figure eight. And then you can do them in your overhead figure eight. So when you're learning how to do spins um, in those figure eight, wear a helmet, padded suit, padded room, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, try not to be so close Stay to suit. a mirror. <laughs> yeah, no, no uh, mirror. No TV. And see, I practice in my dojo, so I have mirrors everywhere. But yes, but yes. you don't want to be like mirrors right here, no. and you're like working. No. That's some good sense, yeah. okay? Because yep. those things are gonna go flying. <laughs> also, if you're if you're working on like palm spins and like uh, the more detailed, smaller moves, I just do it anyway. Really? One, when you drop it, it's right there, and you don't have to go across the room. And yes. two, it won't go flying as much, mm -hmm. and you're just like it. There, you're lower, yeah. you're fine, you don't have to stand up. Interesting. Um, it's a good tip. Yeah, it helps a lot. Like and then it's just, just like the, the range of instruction is a little smaller. <laughs> right. That's so good. that one you can kind of do in your in your room if you're like far enough away from your TV. If you have a big room, you can kind of be here and like watch your TV and like playing and practicing. Yeah. Finger rolls, whatever. Um, so repetition, repetition, repetition. And would you say to really get just those basic movements? Like, I mean, I was having trouble coming here and then down yeah. before you even start getting those first rolls and things. Um, I mean, yes and no. Like traditionally, you might want to keep doing the same thing over and over just to get it. But at the same time, you kind of want to vary it up a little bit. Um, as with like tricking and everything else, like punching and about, I don't know. I just find that sometimes like cross. It's like cross training for one thing. So yeah. like if you do only one move, that kind of limits your range of understanding of it. Um, and sometimes practicing the other moves might bring up a moment or an idea. I'm glad that you said that. You that. Yeah. I'm glad that you said that. And you know what I've also found that's so interesting um, that the more time you take in between a movement, when you come back to it sometimes you're just better at it. Yeah, exactly. Because of, of what you've done and like you've trained other stuff or you've like walked around and something clicked. Also, right. when you go to sleep, your body stores everything that you've done. Like when you're twitching in your sleep, that's like your body um, going over everything you've done in the day. So it's really funny because wow. like whenever you do a lot or like choreography or right. something, you're sleeping, you're like twitching and stuff, um, that's just your body downloading it, which is pretty cool. So cool. Um, so then that's why, and that's why, that's why she's a ninja, sleep. because she fights in her sleep. Now we know. I do, my poor boyfriend. <laughs> Ketchup on your face. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, so definitely, like, yes, practice one move until you can get it, but also let yourself have fun with other ones. And it's it's also just super boring if you want. For sure. Move. Like, karate kids, like, you know, they stood in freaking horse stands for three hours. That sucks. It's not fun. Um, the discipline is important, but it's also I'm glad you good. said that, because I was about to say Discipline's that. super important, but it's also good to, like, keep your brain active and have exactly. fun. Exactly. And, and, you know, Especially for, you know, if you're a kid and you're thinking about getting into mixed 
mixed martial arts. Or, or an adult. Or adults or can or do adults. that too. There's um, so many adults that are like, I'm too old. Make sure not. that you're having fun. Yeah. And that you're at a dojo, that you're having fun, and that you're learning new things, and you're excited to go home and practice, because if you're not, um, Honestly, you should probably look for somewhere you're gonna have fun. Yeah, um, exactly. Keep you your know, brain active. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And it shouldn't be fun all the time. Like, it, it's it, not like, oh my god, I love this so much, I will exactly. never want to not have fun. Like, you're gonna be tired of it, you're gonna be annoyed at stuff, and working through that is important. Absolutely. But you do want to have some, like, feeling of, of love or something. And going it. back into, you know, just discipline, that's a huge part of martial mm -hmm. arts. Discipline yourself, you gotta practice, you gotta, yeah. you gotta show up to class, you gotta... When you gotta do horse dances, you gotta do horse dances. Absolutely. Um, so it's not it's not always gonna be fun and games, um, but hopefully you'll yeah. you'll enjoy it. Yeah. And varying it up with different moves helps helps with that a lot. Yeah. Um, and you get a different understanding. So what I would like the basics. Um, hand roll's a pretty basic one. You can do that once you figure it out from one way. Figure it out from the other ones. Um, learn how to spin into it. That's a hard one. Um, but that helps a lot with everything because then you can be wherever and then you figure out how to do it, um, which is awesome. Another thing, L strikes are really important just to understand it. Playing with the like weird little uh, mind tricks, being able to spin it backward and forward. And then catching it. Catching it is super important. Mm. Being able to catch it in all the directions. So you can go up, you can go this way. And notice I moved my hand from here, right? My hand's here and pinching and going right. here. When I went to do it this way, I moved my hand. So it's this way, so it's catching Interesting. it. Um, and then going sideways, sideways. Being able to catch it in all directions. Um, while you don't usually catch nunchucks too much when you're performing with them, you want to be able to every now and then catch them and show that control. Um, oh. And it's just really good to be able to like stop yeah. them yeah. in any direction. And that one, you can really practice while you're watching. I know a lot like of you can sit there and just like catch. Do 20 of each. Four, five, good. 21, two, three, four, one, two. Find all the ways to catch it. Catch it in front of your face, I don't know. Be brave. Um, figure out different places to catch it, but like, and then catch it out of, out of figure eights. Catch it in the other way. So when you got really good at nunchucks, how often would you say, and how long would you practice? Being completely honest to this, no idea. to this people <laughs> right here. I hated nunchucks when I first started. I don't know why I ended up staying with them. You told me that. On yeah, the with the yeah, I did. I totally did. Check out the podcast. Go back. Yes. To that. Um, I will link yeah. it there. In totally hated the them. Toilet paper roll nunchucks, the worst. Um, and then I just like I don't know. I guess my brain latched onto it as something was like a challenge or something. I don't know. It was like. I'm not sure why I I'm stayed gonna with do it. This. Yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't like a decision. It was just like yeah. I just stayed with it. Yeah, weirdly. Um, <laughs> so uh, I would train for my competitions. Like I'd train forms, um, and that's like I don't know an hour or two. Hour or two. Um, it makes it sound like that's not a lot. <laughs> Between between open forms and flips and, and everything, um, I would train for, for tournaments. I would train sections, so I'd split my form up into three or four sections, and then I'd do that like five or six times. If I dropped, I would do the throw that I had to do like ten times, then go back to the section and like repeat sections. It was this whole like algorithm yeah, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that's that's just no. to, for form. No. So Absolutely. if you're not performing with it. I mean, but you know, give yourself like a half hour. If you guys see give yourself a few minutes, you know how proficient she is. I think um, if you really want to get good at something, be dedicated, Absolutely. be committed, and, and practice. Yeah, practice. No, totally. That's the one thing that you 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 have to do. Absolutely. Doing. And put together little combos. Yeah. Like do your L strike. Do that into a figure eight. Do that into a figure eight throw. Play around with it. Um, that's more fun too, because then you can really like put it all together. Right. What you might want to try to do, which I do with tricking a lot, um, when, when I teach it, I write down all the tricks they can do on little like flashcards, uh -huh. um, and then they pull like three or four and try to put it together, which is cool because you get different transitions that like don't necessarily feel natural, right. but you might find something in that. So it's like, put figure eight, put L strike, whatever, and then draw like three or four cards and try to put it in that order, and then mix it up, put it in a different order. Just right. like as a, as a game, because it's, yeah. it's cool, and you might find something that you like. Stuff. Yeah, I, I definitely learned. Yay! Today. Awesome. I'm gonna go back and look at this video so that I can practice. <laughs> yeah, seriously. 
um, that we did today because I, I'm excited about that and I feel a little bit better about the double and I don't feel as scared. It's anymore. not that bad. It's so. not that bad. People make it a big thing and I think traditionally like do master single and then do double and it's this thing. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Right. You know? Um, and obviously like I don't do all the tricks that I can do on my left hand as well. Like I don't do, I do finger rolls kind of, I don't do like, I don't throw it with my left hand too much. So I'll do double, but most of my tricks end up being like on the, the other hand. Yeah, like all of them. As long as you can move that, right. that yeah. other And arm. it's cool when you're moving the other arm, at least in like this figure eight thing. Um, and then doing it with the other hand, but obviously like work on being ambidextrous, but you don't have to do as much with your left hand or your right hand if you're left handed. Yeah. But yeah. Stuff. So if you're like me and you're learning nunchucks, uh, make sure you rewatch this video because we went over a lot of cool stuff. Um, if you guys actually want to know more about Tecla, she's actually in episode two of my podcast, the Modern Day Hero series, where she talks about how badass of a stunt performer and actress and uh, fitness entrepreneur and all the good things that she is uh, in that podcast. So get to know Tecla better because she's amazing. And uh, absolutely. And comment below if you have any questions about the nunchucks or anything. Yes. I'll try to keep an eye on that. That would be, that would be great. Um, or if you want to do more of this, we can do a little like. Yeah, uh, whatever we can. Yeah, that would be amazing. Another one. So if you guys want down, to whatever. see more of nunchuck tutorials or lessons uh, with Tecla, make sure you check out the next episode of Karate School. And I have been schooled today. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Where can we find you, Tecla? Uh, Instagram is probably the best one. I am Tecla. Uh, Tecla is spelled T-H-E-K-L-A. You'll put that up on there somewhere for them. Sure um, and Instagram is the best one. Instagram is the best one. And on Gabriella's videos. Yes. Uh, yes, exactly. Yeah. So I'll catch you guys for the next episode of Karate, Karate School. School. Bye.